Hey guys, it's Shelby. Welcome back. Today I am headed to the Renaissance Fair, which I'm super excited about. Um, it's kind of the only time of year I bust out my uh, dragon ear cuffs, which I love, but um, yeah, it's kind of the only place I wear them. I also have this like, I don't know if you can see it because it's pretty high up on my head, but this little like star clip that I like. Um, I do wear those more often. Um, there it is. But yeah, I'm gonna kind of take you along and see the sights. So this is going to be the uh, Minnesota Renaissance Fair. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so different mirror today. Um, we're in my bathroom, but this is my outfit. It's just kind of like a graphic bedazzled lightweight t-shirt and some black shorts. Um, and my ear cuff, which I love. So uh, just a ponytail. But I'm ready to go. First of all, I always just love the buildings. Look how cool these are. They stay like this all year round. They're super cute. I don't think they really do much other than like the scary haunted house thing. Um, I think it's just the Renaissance Fair. So they just stay like this and they're so cool. I love them. First things first, you either shop or hit food. We opted for shopping, but look how adorable this place is. It's like a little like pottery place. Um, but it's perfect and it's so cute and all the pieces are handmade most of the stuff at the Renaissance Fair is handmade But look at all these details like little, you know beads hanging from the sort of ceiling. I love it I love everything about this. It's so cute. Look at this place. It's adorable Look at this cute little shop As fun as shopping is eventually you gotta get your priorities straight and it was time to seek out food The food of the realm. Delicious a vendor was selling delicious fudge for $2.50, so I got that because, you know, well-balanced meal. And you guys know I'm obsessed with rings, right? Check out the new addition. It's a puzzle ring. It all comes apart. It's fantastic. Time for more food. This was a berry smoothie. Yeah, I think they had those in the Renaissance. I can't get over how cute these buildings are. Also, randomly large and miniature suits of armor. You gotta love them. The little red one up on the top, they're just like so mismatched. Merch for the shows, the fire show, so the fire shirt. Lots of shopping, lots of vendors, lots of really cool eclectic things. Oh, tasty. most about this place is they don't even try to pretend that people don't still want to be fairy princesses. So just like you're an adult, do it. <laughs> Look at their swords. They're heavy. Oh, look at these. If for some reason shopping and awesome food is not your thing, there's also lots of little shows to catch, like this one right here. Or this one, very similar but different because instead of girls with sticks, it's guys with handkerchiefs, rags, napkins, something like that. I think they had bells though too, which is kind of cool. Points for that. First time I've seen this place without a line out the door. Dude, come on. I had to. Seriously, the amount of tiaras at this place is insane. I love every moment of it. There's also really cool eclectic things like these finger claws, which I did not get, but I did love playing with. But then I saw something that really caught my eye. I have to try that. Making sure they're all safe to go. Alright, so go ahead and grab an axe. Alright? Okay? Right. You are one with the board. 
of the act. The act. Yeah. <laughs> it's in there. It's in there. There's my other issues there. I see it. All right. Keep that elbow straight and push right into it. Yep. And square up. Your wrist. There we go. Whoop whoop. You got this? All close. So clearly in a zombie apocalypse, throwing axes will not be my first weapon of choice. I decided to break for food and recharge my strength. This is absolutely delicious. Beer cheese bread bowl, so good. Luckily for me, the Renaissance Fair offers many a varied weapons to choose from. So after uh, kind of miserably failing at throwing axes, it was still fun though, I decided to try my hand shooting arrows into things. You know, be a real life Katniss. Okay, so maybe I'm not the best with the bow and arrow, but I have to say this was definitely super fun. Like, so much fun. And yes, the hay bales are pretty close, but you know what? The little feathers on the back of the arrows weren't super perfect either, so I probably wouldn't have been great at distance, but I'm gonna blame the arrows rather than my skill or perhaps lack thereof being a newbie. Um, but considering that this was kind of my first time shooting, I think I did pretty well. And also I probably should have just taken my dragon cuff off my ear because every single time I had to adjust it, as you can see, um, the arrow never caught on it. I was really careful about that. This was a totally naked arrow, no feathers on the back at all. I kind of thought it would shoot awesome for whatever reason. Um, it basically just bounced off. That one almost hit the center. That one is really close. So I was like super proud of myself and I thought I was getting way better. That was definitely my best shot and it was downhill from there, but still way closer than my first arrow. So yeah, it was pretty sweet. But all in all, archery, I highly suggest oh, nice. it. Um, you know, even if you just do it at a fair booth like this because it was super fun. So after archery, we stopped for some more snacks and for whatever reason started talking about my puzzle ring, probably because it was new and totally awesome. And I did what I should not have done, which was confidently take it off, shake it up, convinced I could put it back together. Um, yeah, I couldn't. And with the fair near closing time, I basically had to run back to the vendor and hope he was open. That water wheel is somewhat less than effective. I basically walked in was just like please help me I'm stupid and they put it back together showed me how and they actually have instructions online it's back together and safe look at these giant wind chimes I just absolutely love walking around not only are all the buildings cute but everything you can buy is super adorable and awesome and you know a little pricey but most of it's handmade and then on the way to the car I found the one last thing that I had to try before we left and yes, I fail miserably at this, but please bear in mind, the guy was actually instructing me how to do it the whole time, and I held on there so I didn't totally wipe out, which was pretty cool. I kind of wanted just to go up the center of the ropes because that's where it was connected, and I thought that'd be better, but every time I tried, he told me I couldn't do it that way. And he's very specific about, you know, one foot on, one hand on, and switch, which just seemed like really difficult, but I gave it a try. And, um, you know, wasn't great at it, but it was a lot of fun. Totally got, like, a blood blister on my hand from it and a scrape all the way up my arm but super fun and you know for someone who's like not at all athletic it was kind of really incredibly challenging I did put in a uh, kind of last-ditch effort to try and save myself there but let's be real I knew I was going down the attendant was a good sport though and put a cup on his head and whopped walked up the ladder backwards to show me, you know, just how easy it is and how badly I failed. So that was awesome. And then he decided to even do tricks and go up and down spinning. So super great. He's super talented and it was a lot of fun to watch, but you know, didn't make me feel any better about my performance. I do think it's important to point out though that watching this, like he definitely stepped in the middle of the rungs both times he did it. So I'm pretty sure I was right when I wanted to do it that way, but he told me not to and I trusted him. You should never trust the people manning the rides at carnivals. Except unless you know you're throwing axes or archery because they were totally helpful. Goodbye, monster. I love you.
until next year. Okay guys, so that was a day at the Renaissance Fair with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you soon. Bye.